Welcome to this edition of Eyes on Naperville. Here's your host, Kevin Dolan. This is Eyes on Naperville with Kevin Dolan, and I'm going to welcome my guest. My one, actually, I have two guests, but the first one is the one that talks. So, if I may, Jennifer <laughs> Soul is on my right. She talks very well, by the way. She's an attorney, but we're not here to talk about contracts and negotiable instruments. We're here to talk about Huskies. And we have the star here of the show, which is Raven. Raven is a Husky dog. And we're going to talk about what it's like for Huskies. There is a life afterwards for Huskies. And, and that's what Jennifer and I will be discussing. Uh, let's elaborate. Rus Raven's Husky Haven and Rescue. Elaborate on that. Well, Raven's Husky Haven and Rescue is a charitable rescue, and our mission is to take in homeless uh, Siberian Huskies, to bring them back to health through the uh, highest level of care that we can give them, provide them a safe home, and then match them ultimately with an adoptable family who uh, will take them into their home and treat them as one of their own. Did Raven start this, or were there adults who started this? Well, I think it would be most accurate to say that Raven did start it, because so, Raven is a very special dog. Okay, who, she was very instrumental in the beginning, right? She was. She was a rescue dog. Now, you said Siberian Huskies. There's other kinds of Huskies. Do you take in other Huskies? Uh, we focus on Siberian Huskies. Okay. Um, that is the breed that, that our specific rescue focuses on. Mm -hmm. The name Huskies is going to be very familiar to our Naperville audience. Obviously, we have uh, uh, SIU not too far away, and, and of course, um, um, we could talk about that. But Naperville North High School, where I'm somewhat affiliated, and mm -hmm. uh, we are the Huskies, and yes, I'm proud aware. of it, and so on. So the name Huskies, but this is very different. Raven the Husky, uh, entirely different. So you have an organization set up not to save them, but make them comfortable in their old age, maybe, or? Well, really, we take them at all ages. Okay. The, the criteria is that uh, they don't have a home, and most of our Huskies are taken in from animal control facilities and humane societies, because Huskies are a special breed. They, they need a, a lot of exercise, and they like to work, and they don't really like to be in your routine animal shelter environment. I know most dogs don't, but we set up a special place for these dogs so that they can get the care that they need and the training and the love that they need. Do all Siberian Huskies love snow? I would say yes. Okay, that's good to know because they don't seem to mind it. You see these movies and things and the Iditarod and so on and the dogs are over there sitting around for hours laying in the snow and they don't seem to mind it at all, you know. So your facility is out in that lovely little town sleepy town of Sycamore, Illinois, yes, sir. right next to uh, DeKalb and Northern Illinois. I said SIU before. Northern Illinois University, NIU, also the Huskies, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, so tell me something about what you have out there. Well, we picked a beautiful spot on a hillside overlooking the Kishwaukee River, and it's a four-acre facility. We have a home there. We have a 24-7 professional dog trainer who lives on site and manages the kennel. We built a brand new big bright red uh, building and designed it to provide the best care and a home for the dogs and to have training. We have a grooming room. We have outdoor yards where they can run. They play in play groups and run all around there. We have woods uh, on the property and a trail for them to be walked. A trail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my uh, closest friends uh, lived in Sarasota, Florida, and they raise Afghans. And the one thing that's prevalent always, wherever they move, they're now on a golf course, and it really makes it very nice. But they always have a dog run, because mm -hmm. there's another dog they like to get out and run. And I know Huskies are, are more of that. So there's actually a long area where they can There's run. a very big fenced-in yard that's very safe. Um, they have access to that from their outdoor portion of each of their individual kennels. And uh, they have organized play, they have free time, they get walks. We have volunteers who spend time with them, training them, mm -hmm. and we bring children into work with them <clears throat> so that when they go to their homes that their adoptions are really sustainable. Mm -hmm. And Jen, I asked you this before, but where, where do you get your huskies? Where do most of these dogs come from? 
Well, huskies are bred to run, as you know. So some huskies may have uh, gotten loose and run and run and run, and then they're not by their home anymore. Um, and sometimes that happens. And it's just like with many other dogs. And so sometimes people uh, get a dog and they can't uh, care for it properly. And unfortunately, it might be wound up being found by animal control or being turned into a humane society. So once in a while, I presume you get some dogs that not in real good shape, maybe emaciated or not real good, and you nurse them back to health and so on. That must That's break correct. your heart, too, it to is. see them coming it's, out there. It's very sad and difficult, but we have a very committed staff and board and volunteers. Um, but it's very rewarding because you see a dog that comes in who is very sick or injured, and we give them the highest level of veterinarian care. That's one of our biggest costs at the rescue. And we watch that dog progress and become healthy and become vibrant like it's supposed to be and learn how to interact better. And pretty soon that dog is running and playing and is going home with the family. So you take it from start to finish. It's very wonderful. Now, even though it's Sycamore, I'll make a wager that you'll get a call from somebody in Naperville. <laughs> how does this volunteer program work? We have volunteers for everything in Naperville. So, you know, we have these organizations mm -hmm. like the Exchange Club that puts on Ribfest. We couldn't do it without 1,200 volunteers, I think, something like that. And uh, so it's a real volunteer town. And I suspect that there'll be uh, some that might volunteer. What do they do? Well, we, of course, would welcome Naperville volunteers. Um, we have a great volunteer organization. They can go right on our website, which is ravenshuskyhavenandrescue.org, and there's an application right on there. They can fill out what things they're interested in. We have regular orientation sessions, so they might pick a time once a month or even more frequently to go and do something, work with the dogs. There's all kinds of things that they can do. Sometimes we take the dogs to events. Maybe we'll bring them to a Huskies game in Naperville sometime, oh. and we need volunteers to help bring the dogs and run them around the field or whatever has to happen. And um, it's a neat community. Well, obviously you're doing a wonderful thing, even though it's confined to just Huskies, but other kinds of dogs have other kinds of situations like this, do they not? Mm -hmm. And uh, so how many Huskies are there right now, for example? Well, we almost always, and I believe now, are full. We have uh, 12 uh, Huskies because we designed the space to make it optimal, not too many not too few, so mm -hmm. that we can take care of them properly and give them all the attention that they each deserve. How they get along? They get along great, and if there is special uh, circumstances or needs, our trainer will determine that, and she fixes play groups for them, and uh, they all have a friend. Mm -hmm. Is there ever anything like uh, in the winter when a snowfall, you put them on a sled just to see what they do or anything? Yes, we do. We have harnesses. We even have in our indoor training room when it's uh, not even winter, they can pull things. Um, we have sled groups that they work mm -hmm. with. People who are familiar with sledding come and take some of our dogs and add them to their sled team. Hmm. And you can see pictures and videos of that on the website. So it's that's really fun because they have an excellent time. And they pulling. love that, don't they? They love it. They love to pull. Hmm. Wow, that's interesting. So one breed that uh, enjoys the snow. We get some pretty severe winters here. So last year we had plenty. So I imagine that at least they're happy. So you're out in Sycamore, which is, uh, help me, 40 miles, 45? It takes about four, maybe 40 minutes from Naperville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right before you get to uh, go all the way as far as Peace Road. You would get off on Peace Road and, then and you come can back very and easily turn get to right the right instead of going left to school. Mm hmm. So, all ages then, what are, what, what's the oldest husky you have out there? I think probably maybe 10 might be the oldest one. Okay. We get them at all different ages, and all Russ, different sizes. Raven is seven? Raven is seven. Mm-hmm, okay. And so they're fed well, they get a chance to exercise. Can people who grew up with a love for huskies, maybe they had one a long time ago and they loved them, can they come out and maybe get one? Well, they certainly if they qualify. Yes, they would fill out an application. Mm -hmm. They can see all the available dogs on the internet, so they can watch for one that they that might tug at their heartstrings, and then they can apply. And our trainer also works really closely with adoptive families and people to match them with the right dog, the temperament, the age, and so on. 
Mm -hmm. um, we'll even see if they like cats, if someone has a cat, because all huskies uh, don't, but some do. Raven lives with a cat, and mm -hmm. she loves her. So it's a nonprofit organization. Yes. I imagine you have a board of directors. Correct. That uh, help run um, the situation. And they do get plenty of volunteers, huh? We do. We have but a, you have room for more. We do. We always yeah. need more volunteers because that's the real strength of the agency. And that makes a sense of community even stronger. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, a lot of people, Jennifer, are interested in humane treatment for animals. I remember not too long ago seeing uh, this policeman who got in trouble holding the dog up on a cha chain. I just, oh my God. I've been a dog lover for years, and that, that really hurt. And you see some of these dogs come in, and there, there's even a, the SPCA has a commercial on. They show some dogs that are looking. They actually look sad. You know that they oh, are yes. sad. They do. They are sad. Yeah, and, and it's a, a very, very horrible thing to look at. But we know that there's rescue, and we know there's a chance for them to get better. So they can pass away comfortably as well when they get much older out there as well and not well we our goal is to adopt out all the dogs so oh. our goal is to bring them in and mm -hmm. to work with them and to put them in a home so we are really looking at adoptable dogs we believe all the dogs deserve to be in a home and so our dogs are not permanent residents but temporary at different lengths of stay right okay let's talk about the star of the show here raven um how did, uh, uh, what, what inspired you to, to name the rescue outfit after Raven? Well, Raven is just such a great dog. She's a, a therapy dog. She visits uh, Elmhurst Memorial Hospital every mm -hmm. other week and visits patients. And she does agility. And she's just the kind of dog that um, is inspiring. And when we, uh, the co-founder and myself, Kelly Lambert and myself, decided to start this rescue, we thought what a great thing to have rescue, have Raven be the, the logo and have Raven be the namesake um, because she is just such a, a good example of a husky. Loyal, sweet, and smart. Mm -hmm. And are all of them eligible, I guess that would be the word, eligible for uh, working in hospitals? <laughs> Well, that's a more generalized program, but I'm sure any Husky could, could do it. Well, they I mean, no, the ones that you are, are helping, the ones that you have out there. Well, certain ones would be. That's a program that one would have to go through the particular training program, either Pet Partners or with the Elmhurst Memorial and Edward Hospital. They have a special program there. So you'd have to go through the training and see if the dog would be able to do it. But they certainly love Raven there. So mm -hmm. we know she's a good Husky example. For How that. old is the center? Uh, we've been in business for uh, about two years, but we've been open with dogs for a year and a half now. And we've already rescued almost 70 dogs, just wow. in that time and so, alone. And you only have 12 there, and you, you've rescued 70, so you've placed some 50 or more exactly. dogs. Exactly, and we we've, we've are very proud of that. We've got a, people are excited about our facility. It's fun, it's got a good energy, and our, we have good dogs, and uh, we do work with them to make their adoption sustainable. Beyond even the western spheres of uh, Chicago, I mean, beyond that, even perhaps other states, or, or not? Well, we have one of our dogs who lives in Alaska now, who oh. has, was adopted by a, a fly ball champion owner who saw our dog on the rescue and took her there, and now we see pictures a lot of the people who adopt the dog send pictures in after that you can see on the internet. And the dog is in Alaska with the mountains in the background and competing. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, they will come far and wide for the right husky. And I've heard on good authority that they're wonderful with children. They are. They are very good. And we, we bring in children to the rescue to work with the dogs so that we can truly say this dog would be good with children. Well, what is so very special about Raven's animal rescue facility and so on. Well, it, we tried to be a model rescue. We had the opportunity to start from scratch with a facility that meets all the needs of the dog. <clears throat> we also have a, a unique element of a, a professional trainer who's familiar with this breed who is there to manage things day to day. So our idea is to make adoption sustainable, as I said, to provide the highest level of care, behavioral training, um, exercise, grooming, all those things that really 
um, I think set our rescue apart. I think it makes our rescue a good choice for a volunteer, or a mm -hmm. good choice to follow and support. So you and Kelly Lambert, and she's an attorney with you also, yes, correct? She yes, right. she is. So both of you have this great love for Huskies. Well, I, I can see where that's uh, very easy to do. Um, typical motivations for people to come and support or volunteer. Well, again, it would be that they're interested in uh, humane treatment of animals. Some of our board members and volunteers may have rescued other types of breeds or just generally be concerned about animals. And they've chosen our facility because it's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's just a fresh environment and a good place. Um, it's also somewhere uh, that you can be sure that if you do contribute funds or time, that it's all going to the dogs, that the dogs are the number one priority, and that's, that's you're going to get a good result and a good return okay. for your investment. And what are some of the fun events that you run out there? Well, we have, um, we have an annual fundraiser coming up, a benefit, and we it have It takes a, money to run this it facility. It does take money. So we're going to talk about that. We have an open house every February, and the community all comes, ah. and we have the dogs come out, and it's very fun. Uh, we bring dogs to support Northern Illinois University students to de-stress and things like that. Uh, we participate in local community events, parades, and mm -hmm. things like that around town. Um, so we're we're always looking for more events to participate in. We'd well, like we've to show got an Irish dogs. parade here in town. Actually, there's three parades in town that would love to see the Huskies come in. And uh, we'll talk about oh, that off here. Oh, we definitely will. <laughs> You don't have to be an Irish Husky, <laughs> <laughs> Siberian Husky. I'm sure we might have some Irish ones. We'll have to check through our, our, right. our dogs. But let's talk more about the fundraiser. What exactly is going to happen to the fundraiser? When and where? The fundraiser is October 17th at Riverside Receptions in Geneva. Okay. And we're going to have a fantastic community event. We'll have um, alumni, adopters will come. We'll have members of the community. We have a silent auction with all kinds of good prizes. We'll hear some success stories about the rescues and the volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we have a raffle for a week vacation in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Very so nice. we're excited about that. And it's a good chance to come together and support a really good cause. And it won't be, even though it's in Geneva, it's certainly not going to be confined to Geneva, folks. You'd like to know all of DuPage County and Kane Absolutely. County. And Absolutely. Well, your founders are from DuPage County, and um, we have a strong support uh, of people. Some of our board members are from this area, and we've worked with the NIU MBA program here in Naperville, and mm -hmm. so we have a pretty broad base of support for our rescue. I have to ask about this correlation. I, Huskies from NIU and Huskies in Sycamore, not too far away, 50 blocks at the most. Um, was there a reason for that? I mean, could it have been dachshunds? And, <laughs> or, or well, is, was it Huskies because well, uh, we, NIU? No, but you know, not exactly, but sort of, because we were looking for a good place to situate the rescue and where were we going to put it? And it certainly was a good fit mm -hmm. uh, to be right there. So um, you've let the students know it. So the student population of Northern knows about the program, right? Yes, they do. And some volunteers come from that, I presume? Yes, we've had volunteers. We've had uh, the rugby team come out. We've oh, that's had, great. So we've had some, and we've had involvement with the um, MBA program there, too. Mm-hmm. Well, I hope those ruggers can be nice and gentle. I played that sport for a <laughs> lot of years. There weren't a lot of gentle folk they in They seemed that, okay. In that sport, you know. <laughs> Um, so it's a well-run organization, and you've got lots of volunteers, but you'd like to have lots more. And, of course, there's needed money. It needs money. So that fundraiser, again, what month? It's October 17th. October 17th, all right. So that's a good time in fall when there's very little going on except the Bears playing and the Huskies. <laughs> that's right. <coughs> and what day of the week is that, by the it's way? It's a Saturday. There you go, a, it's Saturday. a Saturday. It's a Friday. I'm sorry. A Friday, okay. Well, there's no games on Friday night, so that's also good. So they come from the West Suburban area, probably mostly, but all over? We've uh, gotten dogs from, there was a puppy mill that was shut down in Kentucky. Hmm. We received some huskies from that. We received huskies from down near um, St. Louis from an animal control facility. 
So we've received them from all over. It, it, people know about our rescue and they're learning about it more. Are there other Husky rescue centers around the nation? There are some. There are very few that have a facility uh, and there mm. are maybe none that have a, the kind of facility we have with the 24-7 professional trainer. Now you mentioned the open house in February. I think Raven's trying to talk. Uh, she, she, well, you're on, Raven, so you say something. But um, and I'll forget my train of thought. Raven just uh, just just tantalizes me. So beautiful dog. I love the love the colors. But the um, the fundraiser, for example, you expect to draw from a pretty big wide area. Yes, we'll draw from Chicago. We'll draw from the this area, and we'll draw from out near. Sycamore, so we will have people from all over. We have our board members and um, our supporters are from all over, and people drive quite a distance even to come and volunteer. That's a that's a trick that uh, that Raven taught me. How high the moon? How about the moon? Where's the moon, Raven? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great. Well, I learned one trick from Raven. <laughs> so. Um, you, oh, I know what I was thinking. You have this um, open house in February, but can people call and maybe come out? Just say, "Can I yes, come out and look?" They can call. Might get and a little involved. They can call and they can have a visit of the facility. Our oh. trainer Lisa will um, set that up, and they can they can uh, they can have that um, tour. And volunteers, of course, will have orientation, and they can come out to the um, event in February as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know I would like to come out and see some uh, some huskies on a sled. I really would enjoy seeing that. Uh, you might, uh, you know, there, there are several amusement type parks out there, and an old western town on the other side of the highway up there that has an old train. Maybe you could run rides. That's <laughs> good yeah. ideas. We'll have to put Why that not? on our list. I think uh, an authentic Sib Siberian Husky, or Northern Illinois answer to the Iditarod. <laughs> you know, that uh, is always possible. Well, we certainly hope that, that um, you get some play from this, and certainly hope that we get some calls and some volunteers. Um, and you do this fundraiser once a year? Is that That's correct. We also have a, a giving program that people can sign up for a monthly amount that they can have deducted uh, from their credit card account. And that's a really good program, too, because it can be adjusted be anywhere from $10, 20 or $30 a month. Mm -hmm. They can sign on uh, for that right on our website as well. Jennifer, the reason I'm glad, too, that you're on, think of these folks around that might watch the show and, and they're huskies there, but they're now empty nesters, and that's not as easy to take care of a dog. There's a place for that husky. Absolutely. There's somewhere else to go. Or if they move to Florida and they don't want to take a husky to Florida, maybe Alaska, but not Florida, then there's a place to go. So that's, uh, that's nice to know. So <clears throat> real close to downtown Sycamore, not, mm -hmm. not far at all. Sycamore's not that large, but... Um, a Peace Road, okay. We talked about that. Um, <clears throat> there should be more people thinking of humane treatment of animals, and it's very nice to meet some people that do, uh, whether it's huskies or other dogs or whatever. Uh, it's got to happen. Um, so I, I want to thank you very much for coming on, volunteering to come on and bring us the news of this wonderful shelter. And like I said, I hope we do you some good, and I hope that... Uh, People can chime in. If nothing else, I know that it's prompting me to ask my wife, "Can we take a little ride out to DeKalb? Oh, we'd and love a little to have you. Shy DeKalb, and see a wonderful Husky Training Center, and I think that would be just lovely. So um, we'll look forward to that. Jennifer Soul, thank you so very you much. much. Appreciate it, and good luck to you. Thank you. You're going to be connected for some time. I oh yes. Okay. Oh yes. Very good. Thank you thank very you. much for having us. Thank you. That's it for this month. We'll see you next month. And by the way, I have another female lawyer coming on. She is the brand new executive director of Naper Settlement. And I know you'll love the show. These female lawyers, boy, they're on the ball, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much.